Pittsburgh is a very unique city and when you move here there are going to be several things you encounter that you would have never expected or seen anywhere else. So in this video I'm going to give you 10 ways to know you are in Pittsburgh. So if you are planning to move here this is going to help you get familiar with our city but also the weird things that make Pittsburgh Pittsburgh. And we're getting started right now. Hi everyone, it's Riley Madden, a full-time real estate agent here in Pittsburgh with eXp Realty. If this is your first time to this channel and you wanna learn absolutely everything on what it's like to work, eat, sleep, live, and play, and also buy real estate here in Pittsburgh, make sure you start by tapping that subscribe button and click that little bell so you're notified every time we come out with a new video. We get so many reach outs every single day from people all over the world who are making a move here to Pittsburgh and we absolutely love it. If you're considering a move move to Pittsburgh or any of our surrounding suburbs, make sure to reach out, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, DM us on social media, however you want to get a hold of us. We've got your back when making a move to Pittsburgh. I find some of these pretty funny. That's not my direct intent, but you know what they say, if you want to be funny in life, be honest. So we're gonna start with number one. So number one, if everyone around you is speaking in a distinct dialect and you and your family are referred to as yins, then you know you're in Pittsburgh. So Pittsburghers have a very distinct language and around the city, you're even going to see tons of merchandise that says Pittsburgh geese right on it with tons of different Pittsburgh sayings. So obviously yins is one of them instead of y'all or you all, Pittsburghers say yins. Instead of and that, you'll hear and that. We refer to our football team as Stillers instead of Steelers. It's pretty hard for me to even pronounce. I'm so used to still. We say slippy instead of slippery or buggy instead of shopping cart. Instead of Pittsburgh, you'll hear Pittsburgh. And we even have our own words such as jag off. Almost sounds a little bit lazy, but you'll get used to it and you might pick up on some terms. It's actually a dialect known as North Midland or Lower Northern English. And it could be thanked to the Scottish and Irish immigrants who settled south and west of Pennsylvania. Number two, if you're changing from air condition and heat in the same day, you know you're in Pittsburgh. Our weather's pretty strange here and our temperature changes are really no joke, especially in the fall and the spring when you're kind of in the middle, it could be very warm and very cold in the same day. This year in March, we had a temperature range from 17 degrees all the way to 75 degrees and you pretty much get no general indication that the weather's going to change that fast. It could literally go from 60 degrees to 30 in a one day span. So it's kind of weird. Everyone jokes about Pittsburgh weather just because how fast it changes and how much it ranges from hot and cold, especially in the months like spring and fall when you're already pretty much in between seasons. But the good part is it does clear up our snow pretty fast because the sun will come out the day after or a few days after it snows. So it clears up the roads by itself. But you definitely want to prepare to dress flexible and possibly experience all four seasons in one day. Number three, if even your GPS takes you the wrong way, you know you're in Pittsburgh. No lie, this happens to me and several of my clients, especially when they're relocating from out of state and here, the GPS just does not work well in Pittsburgh. You really have to learn from experience, especially downtown. We have so many different bridges, tunnels, windy roads, steep hills, and just so many weird off turns where the GPS honestly doesn't know what it's doing half of the time. Whether it's lagging and it takes a while to regain that connection after the tunnels, or it's just confused by our roadways, it will lead you in the wrong direction and add some time to your route until you really understand the roads and could honestly just guide yourself. A few times it will lead you to circle around the city, take the wrong exit, and you just wanna give yourself time. If this is your first time driving here, give yourself at least 15 minutes. We are geographically a very interesting city. We're pretty much carved in the middle of these mountains and you have several bridges, several tunnels, and several windy roads and also no true beltway system. So driving around Pittsburgh is very interesting and it's just going to require you to learn from experience. 
Number four, if you know several people who have hit a deer with their car, you're probably in Pittsburgh. I know there is a lot of places like this, but I swear Pittsburgh is overpopulated with deer. Even in our city neighborhoods, you're going to see deer just roaming around. It's pretty crazy. And once you get out to our suburbs, even 20 minutes away from downtown, you're going to start seeing a ton of deer, especially at night. I know several people, several of my family members, my friends here, a lot of people have hit a deer and not even and being far from the city. On a lot of my showings in the city, we see deer just roaming around in the woods and my out-of-state clients can't believe it because nobody realizes how naturist Pittsburgh actually is. I'll go on walks and I live in the suburbs and on my walks, I'll just be walking along and tons of deer will be just right by me in the woods. We're a very heavily forested city and a lot of our suburbs are very forested. So if you're moving here, just be prepared and be careful when driving, especially at night. And number five, if you're at a restaurant and you order a salad, the waiter delivers it and it has french fries and melted cheese on it, you know you're in Pittsburgh. It's kind of funny, but it's true. In Pittsburgh, we're pretty much known for being more of an unhealthy city when you order salads. A lot of the times the Pittsburgh salad is full of french fries and melted cheese and bacon and our permani sandwich which we are known for has a good load of fries on it. French fries are pretty much a staple here. So if you're ordering a salad in Pittsburgh, you want to make sure there are no french fries that come with it. We are also notoriously known for pierogies as well, so there are tons of indulgent food options in Pittsburgh to try if you want to try them. Number six, if you are viewing properties and there is a toilet in the basement by itself, you know you're in Pittsburgh. We have something called a Pittsburgh potty, so it's so funny bringing my out-of-state clients and touring properties because everyone's just not expecting it. It's not even like there's full bathrooms. A lot of them do have full bathrooms, but some of them will literally have a toilet by itself. And sometimes it looks kind of dingy and creepy, but it's really a thing here. So be prepared when we're viewing homes to see a lot of toilets in the basement. Number seven, if you're buying a house and looking at the closing cost and noticing your transfer tax is higher than probably anywhere else, you know you're in Pittsburgh. We have a pretty high transfer tax in our city limits, and I believe it's one of the highest in the whole country. So it hits around 2.5%. If you're buying one time, it's not too big of a chunk, but if you are buying and reselling, you're paying 5% just in that transfer tax. Now, of course, as soon as you're out of our city limits, it's not the case, but if you are buying property in Pittsburgh, the total transfer tax is around 5%. It's split between the buyer and seller for each transaction. But like I said, if you are buying and then selling both in the city limits, you'll be paying the full 5% for both transactions. So it's a pretty hefty cost, especially when you're up higher in purchase price and it's something to consider and factor in. So before putting any offers on properties, you'll be able to talk with your lender and get a full breakdown of any city charges, any transfer taxes, and exactly what to expect before purchasing a house. And as real estate agents here, we also give you an estimated closing cost before putting in any offer. You know exactly how much the total cost will be. Number eight, if you're going on a walk and suddenly are stopped by a humongous hill, you know you're in Pittsburgh. We are an extremely hilly city, and although we have many walkable and flat neighborhoods, if you walk for long enough, you're most likely going to encounter a long hill to walk up. And many of our neighborhoods are extremely hilly, especially in the city, so even on city showings, be prepared to take your car up to some very, very steep hills. And if you're looking for an area to bypass all of the different hills and you want somewhere flat and walkable, we could help guide you in our flattest neighborhoods. And that's also good for any flooding potential so that your house won't get flooded and you won't need to carry flood insurance. 
Most of our neighborhoods do have some type of hilly parts, so it does depend on the exact location of the property in order to bypass hills being a part of your everyday commute. Number nine, if you're driving and suddenly tons of people slow down before entering the tunnel, you know you're in Pittsburgh. Now, I know people slow down before tunnels pretty much everywhere, but Pittsburgh is so notorious for it because of our many tunnels in our city center. So whenever it's rush hour and people are either leaving work or going into work, you're going to want to at least add 15 minutes for just sitting in. It's pretty annoying and unnecessary traffic. And if we didn't have those tunnels, our traffic would be so minimal. Our traffic's already not as bad, especially compared to major cities. But the tunnels in our city center really add to your commute time and there are ways to get around and bypass it. Now, a side note, in our North Hills, there is no tunnel. So if you plan to live in our suburbs and wanna bypass any tunnel traffic, the North Hills has none, so it's the easiest commute to get to work every day. But if you're going southwest or east, especially during the busy time of day, you're going to be sitting in tunnel traffic and you'll literally see it wrapped around for a few miles. It's pretty intense, so you either want to bypass that, get in before rush hour. I try to bypass it any chance I get. And number 10, if you're driving and someone is in the middle of the road trying to turn left, and blocking the intersection, you know you're in Pittsburgh. We have a thing called the Pittsburgh left. So whenever drivers are yielding and turning left at an intersection, a lot of them will go way far past what they're supposed to and literally just be in the middle of the intersection blocking other traffic from coming in. It's pretty funny, but it's pretty annoying. Again, it's known as the Pittsburgh left, something to be aware of. And if you are making a left in Pittsburgh, you wanna try to stay in your lane until you actually know that you could turn and not just block the whole entire intersection. If you are planning to move to Pittsburgh, we help people every single day make the move, find the neighborhood that's really going to correlate with that lifestyle, negotiate the deal, and obviously get you to a smooth, stress-free closing day. If you're considering a move here and wanna talk more about our areas or real estate, or you're ready to get the process started, make sure to reach out, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, DM us on social media, days, nights, weekends. We've got your back when making a move to Pittsburgh. And it's truly what we love to do. We love welcoming you to our city. And if you want to learn everything else about our different neighborhoods, our real estate market, and truly what is it like living in Pittsburgh, you could start by watching our next videos here. And we will catch you in the next one.